It's been almost 50 years since American Pie was the number one song in America, but it's still ubiquitous. It's everywhere. Sometimes its lyrics even get referred to on cable news shows. That's the Democratic Party's position. And if you're not sold yet, if you sense there might be a few links missing from that logic chain, Nancy Pelosi has an answer for you. It's not so much an argument as it is a cliché bomb a dense cluster of familiar phrases designed to convey the impression that important facts are being delivered and profound thinking is taking place. It's like that old Don McLean song, drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. It doesn't actually mean anything, but it kind of moves you anyway. But then we started thinking about it, and we realized maybe that's not fair. American Pie's lyrics may mean something. To find out, we go to the man who wrote them. Probably the most famous songwriter in this country, Don McLean, joins us tonight. Mr. McLean, thanks so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. I watch your show often. Well, that's really, thank you. I appreciate that. So, what, this is the question every person who's ever driven on an American interstate has asked him or herself where's the levy and what does this mean? What do the lyrics mean? Well, could I just take a moment and explain that um, there are many poems and uh, songs in folk music, certainly, that are not particularly exactly uh, prosaic. It's, right. That's why they're poetry. Um, but Good I point. had an idea. I had an idea for uh, a big song about America. And I didn't want to write a This Land is Your Land or um, some song like that. Um, and I came up with this notion that Politics and music flow parallel together forward through history. So the, the music you get is related somehow to the political environment that's going on. Yes. And in the song American Pie, um, the, the verses get somewhat more dire each time until you get to the end. But the good old boys are always there singing and singing bye-bye Miss American Pie, almost like fiddling while Rome is burning. Yes. This was all in my head. And uh, it sort of turned out to be true because you now have a kind of music in America that's really more spectacle. It owes more to Liberace than it does to Elvis Presley. And it's uh, somewhat <laughs> meaningless and loud and bloviating and... Uh, and yet, and then we have this sort of spectacle in Washington, this kind of uh, politics, which has um, gotten so out of control. And so uh, the theory seems to hold up. But again, it was only my theory. And uh, that's how I wrote the song. That was the, the, the principle behind it. So you set out to write, as you said, a big song about America. And boy, did yeah. you succeed 50 years, 50 years later. You know, it's, it's one of the most famous songs ever written in English and one of the most resilient and resonant. I mean, we're still listening to it um, every day. What kind of reaction do you get from people to the song now? Well, I always, the, the song has been part of their lives now. You know, I'm part of their lives. And, um, and my, the albums that I made in the 1970s go along with that. But of course, the the kingpin is the song American Pie. Yeah. And really, all roads lead to Rome in my show. I sing the American songbook, songs that I've written, whether it's Castles in the Air, And I Love You So, Vincent, yes. Wonderful Baby, all these songs. Winterwood, all one roads, of the best. All roads lead to American Pie at the end, usually. And uh, it's a summing up of uh, everything that's going on. I don't really do a set. You know, I've been doing this for so many years that I kind of make up a, do, a new show every night. But can I just tell you one thing about yourself uh, that I've noticed? And that is that you do something that nobody else does. You get a guest on, and then you ask them a core question. And I think there's nobody else that does that. And it's a very well thought out question. And nine times out of 10, the guest can't answer it, which is, makes it uh, very amusing and fun because you don't get into a whole thing of going everywhere he wants to go, you make him come to that question. And that's very philosophical. That's, that's Socratic. And I, I love that. I think that's terrific. Well, I really and, appreciate uh, that. The basics are what yeah. matter to me. I'm a very basic person, like a dog. 
D Don McLean, it is an honor to have you on tonight. Thank you so much. I can't tell you the number of Thank times. Thank you. I've thought about you alone in the car, and it's, and, it's, and it's great to finally meet you. Thanks very much. Well, thank you for having me.